Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning today, isn't it? Well, does anyone know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big piece of origami paper. And I like to do origami, and today I'm using a bigger piece so that people can see it from a distance. Now, there's a few folds already made in this origami paper. Do you know what I'm making? Do you recognize it? Oh, not yet. Okay, let's see. Do you have any idea what you think it might be? You think it might be a snowflake? Well, let's see. Let me make a few more folds. It's tough to tell what origami paper is going to be when so many folds are missing. But I'm going to add some more. And I'll fold, and I'll fold, and I'll fold, and I'll fold. Can you see where I'm folding? You're a little far away, but you can move closer if you want. I'll fold, and I'll fold. Okay, I've made a whole bunch of folds. So, can you tell me what it is now? Do you have any idea what it might be? Not yet, yeah. You think it might be a kite. It does sort of look like that. But I think more folds are needed for you to understand what it is. I need to actually to make a little cut here to make more folds. So I'll cut. Now, the, in the, the uh, Bible story that you just heard, it was hard because the, uh, the disciples didn't recognize Jesus. They just didn't have enough information. But as I make more folds in this paper, We got to be getting closer, I think, to what you will recognize. I think I know what you're going to say, but let's see what you think it is now. You think it's a butterfly? It looks a little more like a butterfly now, but I still think you need more information. And maybe I need some more folds. So I will make some more folds. And uh, let's see what we think it is now. It's a little harder with the big paper like this than it was with the smaller paper. But, okay, now you know what it is. You, think it, you still think it's a kite. What do you think it might be? I can't hear you. Oh, a paper airplane. Well, I guess it does sort of look like a paper airplane, but it's actually an animal. It's actually an animal, and there's a famous book that you might know that this animal is in. So I better make the last few folds. And this, this animal is one that you see sometimes. Uh, a cowboy might even have one to ride.
So what do you think it is? You said what? A horse. Sure, it's a horse. I could make the head a little bit better. But, uh, and this horse, when I, when I make it smaller, it can do special things like flip. But this one's too big. I'll, I've got smaller ones I'll do that with. Anyway, now today's Bible lesson was similar to this in that the resurrected Jesus joined the two disciples on the way to Emmaus, but they didn't recognize him because they didn't have enough information. Just like I didn't have enough folds for you to see the horse until I went through, and also I told you a story. And the, the book I was thinking of was, of course, Black Beauty. But as they went with Jesus down the road to Emmaus, they talked about Bible stories with Jesus, and they, Jesus talked about other Bible stories too, and then they prayed together. And then the two disciples finally realized they were walking with Jesus, and they understood it was him. They returned to Jerusalem, and they told others about seeing Jesus. The same is true for us today. We can know Jesus through the Bible stories and through praying. And I hope we'll do that. Let's pray a prayer. And if this is going to be a prayer where you repeat what I say, okay? Dear God, thank you for Jesus who teaches us how to see and live connected to you. Thank you and amen. Okay, and I have some horses for you to remember that sometimes you just have to pay real close attention to recognize what is right around you. And I'll have more for you out in the lobby uh, afterwards, and I'll show you how to actually turn it into a flipping horse that you can play with. <laughs> Thank you very much. And remember the road to Emmaus.